Hi guys, I hope that you're all doing really, really well. So today we're going to be talking about signature scents, but not just any signature scents. I wanted to compile a list of the most elegant, luxurious, quiet luxury signature fragrances for women. And to be quite honest with you guys, this list is quite personal to me because quite a few of these fragrances I have been I could consider as my signature sense of 2023. So yeah, I have I have an attachment to some of these fragrances. So let's get into the list. Let's start out with this fragrance right here. I am sure all of you guys know this iconic bottle right here. J'adore l'or. You guys, I was not expecting to love this fragrance as much as I do. As you guys know, I am a white floral girly, especially since turning 20. I feel like now that I'm in my mid 20s, I have really become obsessed with white floral fragrances. So when I tried J'adore l'or, I feel like it was everything that I wanted out of a signature fragrance. It is just beautiful you guys the perfumer behind j'adore l'or is francis kirkshan i know that all of you guys know his name he is a master perfumer and he is now actually the in-house perfumer at dior so he launched j'adore l'or this year and i love what he did with this fragrance you guys i feel like he kept the classic j'adore dna which i know a lot of you guys know the j'adore dna either you know somebody who wore it or is currently wearing it for me personally my mum used to wear the og j'adore so i have a lot of like scent memories attached to the fragrance and what you have in the J'adore Law is you still have that iconic DNA, but I feel like Francis Kirkshan kind of modernized it in a way and made it his own. So let's talk about how it smells. Oh, like honestly guys, I'm speechless. It is so stunning and I really want you guys to all go out and give it a sniff if you like white floral fragrances, more specifically jasmine, because what you have in J'adore Law is this jasmine explosion. It's very opulent, very crisp, very pure, very elegant. And it's just stunning. You can see I have been tucking into my bottle of this one because I don't know what it is, but these days I have been wanting to smell really feminine, really powerful, really chic. And this is the perfect fragrance for me. You also have notes of orange blossom, lily of the valley, rose and violet. Now, like I said, for me, this is a jasmine explosion, but it smells, it's not too heady. If you guys know what I mean by heady, it doesn't feel very dense and thick and weighted. It has this kind of crisp, almost green sort of freshness going on in the scent. And I do also feel the violet in the fragrance, which brings something a little bit powdery and very angelic. I spoke with a few other fragrance reviewers about their thoughts on the new J'adore Law. And guys, what I noticed is that everyone is in love with J'adore Law. Like I haven't heard somebody speak negatively about it yet because it's just so gorgeous that you guys all need to go out and try it. Now, in terms of seasons and occasions, why I'm recommending it as a signature fragrance is because for me, this fragrance works all year round, summer, autumn, winter, spring, day, night. You can wear this fragrance anytime, anywhere. But I do also want to say that I feel like this fragrance could make a stunning wedding fragrance. If you are getting married or you know someone that is getting married in the near future, recommend them J'adore Law because it really smells it smells so elegant and pure and beautiful. Like I can definitely see this being a beautiful bridal scent. I get around seven hours of really good wear with a minimal projection. It's not going to project like a, a beast mode scent, but it's going to project within your arm's length. So people are going to be able to smell you. And actually I just wore it like two days ago and I sprayed it on my clothes and I didn't wash those clothes and I can still smell like lingering kind of jasmine notes all over my clothes from the other day. So I'm in love. I'm obsessed. I really recommend it to you guys. J'adore l'or from Dior. This is a 2023 version. Guys, go and check it out because it is so beautiful. Like so, so, so beautiful. So next up we have Apollonia from Zerzhov. 
Now, for me, Apollonia is one of the best white musk fragrances that I have ever tried. And you guys know I get to smell a lot of fragrances and I have never smelled a white musk fragrance so well done. A lot of brands try to do it, but not all brands can achieve it. Apollonia is one of the most beautiful white musk fragrances ever. Now, I do want to say something about the scent. This is not going to maybe blow you away like some other Zergel fragrances, like Ivory Root, like La Capitale, like Overture, like Casamirati, Lira, and Italica. This is maybe not going to be so impressive, but for me, I know this sounds so cheesy, the beauty in this fragrance is its simplicity. Like, it is just so gorgeous. Like, so, so, so gorgeous. It's creamy, it's soft, it's buttery it's musky it's just so stunning like so 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 stunning and this is the sort of fragrance that i see on like a very 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 wealthy woman like very wealthy and this is her signature scent and it has been for her entire life like that's what i see for apollonia another thing that i love to do with apollonia is use it as a base for layering other fragrances on top now i don't necessarily recommend that you only buy the fragrance for that purpose but i'm just telling you guys i do love to use this one as a layering scent because it has not not a simple dna but it just has this beautiful like muskiness like it's just this beautiful creamy buttery musky scent and it's just it's just perfect so i love it so much it has been kind of a signature for me this year and also the longevity projection is fantastic on apollonia i get around seven hours of pretty good wear with a minimal projection it is quite close to the skin i do have to say that but it's just stunning so i really recommend it check it out apollonia from zerzhov oh and another thing you guys i am currently organizing a discount code with zerzhov for the end of october so hold on to your hold on to your cash until the end of October because we're going to have a discount code plus with any full bottle purchase you're going to get an incredible discovery set that I am creating with the brand right now and Apollonia might be inside of it so yeah just wanted to let you guys know that I am coming back to my roots it is Coco Noir from Chanel now, Coco Noir, as you guys know if you've watched me for a long time, which thank you so much for that, I used to wear Coco Noir when I was living back home in Australia and I was recommending it a lot. I don't know where my bottle went. I didn't see it when I went back home to Australia, but that's okay. Um, I love it. I am just so happy to have it back in my collection. I bought it at Nice Airport a few weeks ago. And I'm just so happy. I love the fragrance so much, you guys. And I didn't realize how much I missed having it in my collection. It's just gorgeous. This is a beautiful resinous rose and patchouli fragrance with something a little bit sweet. Very resinous though. Like I really get this kind of spicy resinous touch and it's just incredible, like absolutely incredible, you guys. Coco Noir will forever be one of my favorite designer fragrances. For me, it's like the older sister of Coco Mademoiselle. If you feel like Coco Mademoiselle is maybe a little bit juvenile or you feel like it's a little bit overdone, try Coco Noir. It's that, it's, a, it's up here compared to Coco Mademoiselle. It's just so much more complex and just gorgeous like I just I don't even know what to say about it a stunning resinous rose and patchouli fragrance that just embodies this really chic and classy like personality it's just gorgeous I really recommend it longevity projection is good it's around six to seven hours with a minimal projection but I don't even care like I don't care if it doesn't last for me this is a must-have in my collection and I realize now after getting it back into my collection, after not owning it for so long, how much I love this scent. So, Coco Noir from Chanel. I love her. But next up, we have Nuit Bleu from Violet. Now, I do want to say something about this scent. This is very clearly a, like, kind of interpretation of Prada Infusion the Iris. It smells very, very, very similar, maybe like 80% similar. So I do want to say that before talking about the scent. And I love both fragrances. I love Prada Infusion to Iris, but I love Nuit Bleu more. It's this gorgeous, 
like fresh, musky, lipsticky fragrance. It's just so beautiful. It has the freshness, it has that kind of creamy powderiness, it has that lipstick feel, which is definitely a signature in Prada Infusion the Iris. It's smooth, it's chic, it's elegant, it's casual at the same time. It's just so gorgeous and it works in all seasons and occasions. It works in summer, definitely works in summer, but it works just as well in the fall and winter because of that creamy kind of irisy sort of vibe going on in the scent. And it's just so gorgeous, you guys. Longevity and projection on this one is good. Again, maybe around the six, seven hour mark, maybe more like seven hours with a minimal projection. Whenever I wear Nuit Bleu, I feel really mature, like I, and in a good way, not in a, old-fashioned way I feel like a woman do you know what I mean like I feel like a classy woman that has her life together that is going to get things done and that's how I feel as soon as I spray on Nuit Bleu actually I kind of feel the same way about Coco Noir even though it's a little bit sexy but I definitely feel that about Nuit Bleu like when I spray it on I'm like all right let's get stuff done this is an interesting one this is Cassili from Parfum de Mali I am going to tell you guys something right now. When this fragrance first launched, I liked it, but not that much. Like I did like the scent, but there was no way that it was going to dethrone Delina for me. Like absolutely no way. And I don't know what happened, but recently I just had a craving to wear Cassili. Like I had this, this kind of like feeling. I was like, I need to wear Cassili today. So I sprayed it on and I actually fell in love with the fragrance. I'm, I'm not joking to you guys. When I first discovered it and I tried to wear it a few times, I didn't really like it. Like I, I liked it, but not that much. Like I was like, yeah, it's okay, but it's not really my taste. It's not really for me. And it just shows how much your taste can change over time because literally just one day, a few weeks ago, I had this craving. I was like, I really want to wear Cassili. I sprayed it on and I just fell in love with the fragrance. Now, what you're gonna get is this very like creamy, powdery, fruity, just cocooning scent. What you're gonna get with Cassili is this very like powdery, creamy, floral fragrance with a fruitiness, but it's very like, I don't know how to explain it. It's very like plush, it's very, it's very like rounded. I don't even know how to describe it really, but I am loving this fragrance right now. It's almost a little bit peachy in a way, which definitely could be like a placebo effect from the bottle. Cause I don't think there is peach. I think the fruity note in here is actually plum, but what I get is, yeah, this kind of like peachy, creamy floral fragrance. It's very balmy, a little bit powdery and it's just, so good you guys i also heard somebody compare it to like a shampoo which i can see that correlation a little bit but it's just a beautiful very creamy powdery slightly fruity uh floral fragrance and i am just loving it right now like i am loving it and i feel like within the parfum de mali feminine collection it's definitely one fragrance that i feel like is slept on i feel like obviously everybody knows delina valaya maybe Meliora as well. Guys, if you feel like your taste is evolving and you love like a beautiful kind of powdery floral scent, try Cassili because I have fallen in love with it. Like it's actually sitting, I have my favorite shelf here. A lot of these favorite uh, fragrances are sitting on my favorite shelf at the moment. Cassili is right up there and she's getting worn every single day by me because I am just loving the fragrance right now. Longevity projection is pretty good. I get around seven hours of really good wear with a nice projection. People will be able to smell you, maybe even give you a compliment because it has that really like feminine, kind of clean, fruity DNA. And I'm just in love. Cassili from Parfum de Mali. I don't know about you guys, but I slept on this one for years. Like I literally didn't touch this fragrance for years and years and years. And then recently started to wear it. And I feel like it would make the most beautiful signature fragrance for a woman who wants to smell feminine and clean, but floral, a little bit fruity, but very classy at the same time. You have to try Cassili. Gonna breeze through this one. You guys have heard me talk about this a lot. And I always say the same thing. This is Ex Nihilo Fleur Narcotique, the X-Ray. 
I love this fragrance. I think it smells absolutely stunning. It is Hailey Bieber's signature fragrance, just if that makes a difference in your willingness to go and try it. <laughs> but it is really, really gorgeous. Fleur Narcotic, as you guys know, is this stunning like peony fragrance. It's like a reconstructed version of peony and it's just beautiful. It's fresh, it's crisp, it's musky, it's airy, it's so feminine, like so, so, so feminine. And it has this cleanness to it, which I love. And that's why I think it would make the most beautiful signature because again, you can wear this one all year round, in all seasons, in all occasions. It's never going to smell out of place. If you want to have a really feminine and clean, pretty girl signature scent, I would recommend Fleur Narcotique the X-Ray. And I know that there's another fragrance that is quite similar to Fleur Narcotique. It's Le Vent by Ormond Jane. I have a sample of it and it's very nice. They are super similar, like super, super, super similar, you guys. So whichever one you can find cheaper online, I would recommend getting that. But I love the scent, it's gorgeous. The only thing that I always say is the longevity is not that good, but I have read some reviews online on Sniff actually. Some people get really good longevity from the fragrance, so you definitely have to try it for yourself and see if it's worth investing the money in it. But for me, I don't get the best longevity, but it's okay, like I don't mind reapplying the fragrance because of how much I love the scent DNA. So Fleur Narcotique, the X-Ray, such a beautiful signature. I love it so much definitely for like a pretty girl signature. This one is a little more dark. This is for somebody who wants a very statement signature scent. You want to make a statement with this scent. This is Iris Malikant from Maison Crivelli. A lot of you guys are probably looking at me like, what on earth Iris Malikant as a signature? Yes, trust me. Yes, I've worn this fragrance in the 50 degree Dubai heat, it works and it smells freaking incredible. But this is for a particular type of woman. This is, like I said, for a woman who wants to make a statement with her signature scent, I recommend Iris Malikant so much. It is this beautiful, creamy, dense, almost leathery Iris fragrance with a very buttery, smooth sweetness going on, a suadiness. There is almost, almost a little bit of a chocolatiness from the scent and it's so addictive on the skin. Iris Malikant is definitely one of the best Iris fragrances that I have personally tried. I love it so much, you guys. Like I even consider this fragrance, I know this is a very bold statement, but I even consider this scent to be a masterpiece, but I would not recommend it for everyone. This is the sort of fragrance that I would never, ever, ever recommend somebody to blind buy. It's too particular like it's not a scent that everyone is gonna like you're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it but i recommend it to any of you who want to have a signature scent that makes a statement and of course you like iris you like a bit of leather you like something more complex and niche i recommend iris malika it works in all seasons and occasions and you're really gonna make a statement with the scent so I love it so much. It's a fantastic fragrance. It lasts a long time, probably around the seven to eight hour mark with a beautiful projection. It's it's within your arm's length. People are gonna be able to smell you and notice your scent. I love it. I cannot say enough good things about it. Iris Malikon. Next up, we have another Dior fragrance, but this one is from the private collection from Dior. This is Santal Noir. This one is so slept on, you guys. Like everybody knows, Ombre Nuit, Gris Dior, I don't know, Tobacco Couleur, uh, La Colle Noir, but nobody talks about Santal Noir. And for me, it is probably in my top three from the private collection. It is so beautiful. But again, this is a sort of scent that I would not expect everybody to like at all. What you're gonna get, oh my God. I, guys, I love this fragrance. I love it, I love it, I love it. I actually re kind of discovered the scent a few weeks ago, maybe a few months ago now. And I just re-fell in love with it all over again and I have been wearing it non-stop. And guys, every time I wear this fragrance, Santal Noir, somebody comments about it. Somebody comments about my scent, either it's you smell so good or what fragrance are you wearing, Santal Noir. It is this gorgeous balance between Western and Middle Eastern perfumery. It's not too Middle Eastern, like something like Oud Isfahan. 
it's not too much like dark and smoky and, and spicy. It's not too much. It's the perfect balance of both worlds. And that's what I find so special about this fragrance. What you have in Santal Noir is a rose fragrance with sandalwood, a lot of sandalwood and amberette. So it has this sweet kind of muskiness going on mixed with the rose and the sandalwood. There is something a little bit smoky and spicy about it, like just ever so slightly, like ever so slightly, but you get this beautiful rose fragrance with a lot of musk and sandalwood, a bit of that smokiness, a bit of spice, and it's just so gorgeous. There is also a little bit of a sweetness in there and it's just incredible, you guys. Again, this is a fragrance that I have personally worn in like the really high heat in Dubai and it just smells so gorgeous on the skin. I recommend it for all year round, all situations, all occasions. Again, this is the sort of scent that I would recommend to somebody who does want to have something unique, like a very unique signature fragrance that is again going to make a statement. That's when I would recommend Santal Noir. Longevity and projection is great. I get around eight hours of really good wear with Santal Noir with a minimal projection. I'm in love. I'm obsessed with this one. I, I just cannot stop wearing it. This is another one along with Coco Noir that I brought to Cannes with me for the fragrance exhibition because I just, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I cannot say enough good things. Next up we have Musk Moss Juice from Rania J. I'm so happy that this fragrance is getting more love online because it really deserves it. It is a beautiful musk fragrance that you will love if you love Musk Therapy from Inicio. I know that a lot of you guys bought Musk Therapy because of my videos and stuff and I want to tell you to go and get a sample of Musk Moss Juice because if you love Musk Therapy, I really feel like you're going to love Musk Moss Juice. It is not the same, like they're definitely not the same scent, but they're in similar, like they're in the similar universe. Like they're, you know, they're aligned. What you have with Musk Moss Juice is this beautiful creamy musky scent with a beautiful vanilla note. So that's what adds this kind of sweetness. And you have a little bit of like a, a little bit of a fruity touch from some black currant, especially when you first spray the scent, you do feel that black currant note. And as it starts to dry down, you get this beautiful kind of, creamy baby powdery milky musk with that beautiful vanilla note running through it and it's just stunning you guys like absolutely stunning an effortless signature scent again very luxurious but in like a quiet way like that quiet luxury scent that you're just going to catch a whiff of and wonder what is that perfume that that woman is wearing it's musk moss juice Amazing fragrance you guys. I know I'm dropping like celebrity names. I don't know any celebrities like I really don't but I did read an article that Billie Eilish fell in love with Musk Moss Juice and bought like three bottles of it. I read that article a few weeks ago and yeah, just a fun fact. I love the scent. It's gorgeous and it does have fantastic longevity and projection around the seven hour mark with a beautiful projection. Finally, we have a fragrance from Panhaligons. This is Constantinople. I fell in love with this fragrance recently. It just, it makes me feel so expensive, you guys. Like I feel, not in a, not in like an aggressive way. It's not like I'm trying. Like for instance, a fragrance that I feel like is like a try hard luxury sort of scent, even though I recommend it, is Oud for Greatness from Inicio and also a little bit Baccarat Rouge from MFK. Like those two scents are a little bit like you're trying so hard to smell like you have money and you're a bit nouveau riche, you know? This is like a super luxurious smelling scent, but you're not trying. Like you, you don't even try. You just smell like this and that's, that's how it is. This is a power woman fragrance, you guys. Like power moves, power woman. You're jumping onto your private jet and you're flying to the Maldives. Like it is wow. Like it really is wow. Again, this is not a safe blind buy. This is not a scent that everyone is going to like. And I'm telling you guys right now, I really feel like my fragrance journey has evolved and my taste has opened up so much to all types of fragrances. So just be aware that whenever I recommend something and I say that I love it so much, it doesn't mean that everyone is going to love it as well. This is a beautiful, beautiful woody fragrance, like very complex just very opulent, very luxurious. 
It has patchouli, lavender, vanilla, there is pine, geranium, pink pepper. There is a lot going on. And actually when I first smelled this fragrance, I thought it was a rose oud scent. I was like for sure that this is a kind of like a rose oud interpretation. Constantinople is a spicy woody fragrance with a little bit of a greenness. So definitely don't blind buy it. It's not a safe blind buy at all. But if you want to smell something really like expensive, really intense, really opulent, Constantinople from Penelagons. And every time I've worn this, somebody has commented about it. And I'm just, I'm in love with it. It actually also reminds me quite a lot of living in Dubai. Like there are quite a few hotels around where I live that smell like Constantinople. Like they have this beautiful, like, I don't know, like this rose oud sort of scent. And I don't know, it's just amazing. This is another power woman signature scent. This is not for somebody who wants to smell really feminine and really um, girly and really sweet. Like it's not at all that sort of signature. This is a boss woman, power woman vibe signature scent. So I love it personally. That is it you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video of my favorite signature scents right now, but also signature scents that I recommend to anyone who wants to smell very luxurious, but in a quiet way. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.